This course will cover one-wire technology. In this course, we'll give an overview of one-wire technology, its advantages, and its markets and applications. One-wire technology refers to a serial signaling protocol in which power and data can be sent over a single wire. The signal transfer can be bidirectional, or half-duplex. Maxim's one-wire communication protocol is a simple signaling protocol that allows for use directly off of a spare port pin of a microcontroller or FPGA. There are protocol conversion devices that allow people to convert from either RS-232 to one wire or I2C to one wire. A typical one wire network consists of a single master connected to one or more slaves via the one wire bus. To ad accommodate the use of only one wire, the protocol combines the clock, data, and power into a single signal and ground return. This communication is bidirectional and half-duplex in nature, and data transmission is bit sequential with the least significant bit, or LSB, transmitted first. Each of Maxim's one-wire devices comes standard with a factory-lasered, unique, and unalterable 64-bit ID. As an additional service, custom ROM IDs are also available. One-wire devices derive their power through the use of an internal capacitor, which is charged while the line is in the idle high state. For most parasitic-powered one-wire devices, the minimum operating voltage is 2.8 volts. If the available current is not sufficient for the application, then a lower pull-up resistor or a low impedance bypass to the pull-up resistor will be necessary. Typical values for the pull-up resistor are between about 1k ohm and 4.7k ohms. This sets the standard current range to between 5 milliamps and 1.06 milliamps. The minimum function of one-wire slaves is a 64-bit ID number. However, Maxim's one-wire products are optimal for adding memory and mixed signal functionality to designs where interconnect must be minimized. OneWire is a multi-drop protocol in which a single master, multiple slave arrangement can be realized. Each slave has a unique address and the host initiates and controls the communication. Through the use of a search ROM algorithm, IDs for all devices on a network can be determined. As a one-wire device has a unique, unalterable 64-bit ID, one-wire devices allow designers to add a wide array of memory and mixed signal functionality, such as EEPROM, EEPROM, Secure EEPROM, PIO, Temperature and Humidity Sensing, Time Counting, and ADCs. Shown here are some examples of host-side implementation for a one-wire network. The most simple implementation is using a spare open drain microcontroller port pin with an external pull-up to bit bang the one-wire line. Option 2 shows this implementation with the inclusion of a bidirectional port and a unidirectional read and write port. Customers also have the option of using a variety of bridge devices, like the DS2483 that converts I2C to one wire, as shown in option 3, or integrating the one wire master into their ASIC or FPGA design, as shown in option 4. Options 5 or 6 show the host site implementation for a network that uses one or more one-wire secure memories using the secure hash algorithm standard. The DS2460 is a SHA-1 coprocessor that primarily offloads the SHA-1 computation from the master. Starter EV kits and software drivers are available to assist people integrating one-wire technology into their system. All supporting software is also available free of charge.
To summarize, the one-wire protocol is an efficient signaling scheme that multiplexes data and power onto a single bus, thereby minimizing interface complexity. The protocol is multi-drop capable with a single master multiple slave arrangement. A three-phase sequence is used for every transaction. Reset, device selection, and a device function command. All communication is initiated by the master to which the slaves respond. Each slave device is factory programmed with an unalterable unique ID. Through the use of a search ROM algorithm, IDs for all devices on a network can be determined. Therefore, it's not required for the master to have prior knowledge of the slave device's ROM ID in order to communicate. Speeds of 15.4 kilobits per second in standard mode and 125 kilobits per second in overdrive mode are both supported. The key advantages of one-wire technology are it provides a wide range of mixed signal solutions, device power and communication happen over one contact, factory administered unique serialization, high ESD performance up to 15 kilovolts typically by IEC, wide operating range 1.75 volt to 5.25 volts from minus 40 degrees C to plus 85 C. Small low pin count packaging, a simple host interface, and a low cost solution. One wire technology can be used in many applications, such as medical, print media consumables like toner and ink cartridges, accessory peripheral ID and control, secure authentication, and chassis or rack based equipment. For a medical application, typical system requirements are the host system must be able to identify or control the disposable or reusable sensor, a connector where the number of connection points is constrained, yet data or control information must pass between the host and the peripheral, calibration or manufacturing data, and clone prevention. For those requirements, one-wire technology is a good choice because one-wire devices require only a single dedicated contact to operate and power devices, and there's a variety of secure and standard memory devices, EEPROM or EEPROM, at densities from 1 kilobit to 20 kilobits can be implemented. The sensor slash cable ID and authentication applications have these key requirements. The identification or authentication to test for OEM genuine products. Tamper-proof data storage of calibration information. A method for non-reversible expiration of consumables. A simplified host interface with minimal contacts. High ESD protection for exposed contacts, typically 8 kilovolts uh, with a human body model or 15 kV in air. A low-cost solution because they have to have a good return on investment value proposition. One-wire products with their special attributes can be used to address these requirements. In general, any kind of peripheral or accessory that needs to be identified by the host or the main system is a good candidate for the one-wire solution. Another application is multi-rack and multi-card systems. This image shows a controller card and multiple dumb cards with each dumb card having a one-wire device embedded. Further, in case of a local card failure, you could still talk to the one-wire device parasitically and identify the chain of events that lead to the failure, similar to a black box recorder. Typical control and monitoring system requirements are unique electronic serial numbers for system or board identification, simple way to store PC board configuration, calibration, or manufacturing data, a means to identify the physical location of a board in a rack system or multi-card environment, 
and something that monitors environmental conditions. The one-wire solution can be used because of the following attributes. It's factory programmed, unique 64-bit ROM serial numbers are in all one-wire devices. There's a variety of secure and standard memory devices, EEPROM and EEPROM, at densities from 1 kilobit to 64 kilobit. Electronic and visual identification of boards in a multi-card rack system. Monitoring of system states and environmental conditions, such as temperature with minimal wiring. This slide shows a typical one-wire device, the I-button. Maxim's I-button devices are small, durably packaged modules with globally unique digital addresses. Using one-wire communications protocol, I-buttons provide the ability to deliver or record data where other products cannot, such as in very harsh environments. To summarize, in this course we have presented an overview on one-wire technology, its advantages, as well as its markets and applications. For more information, please go to our website at www.maximintegrated.com under Products, Digital, and One Wire. We hope that you enjoy this video and see you again in another educational video of Maxim Integrated.